Welcome to Atarashi Hinode by T3 Solutions. In this tutorial, we are going to do CBSC 11th grade maths lab activity. Here I am suggesting one method to construct a Pascal's triangle and I believe it is the easiest way. Before going to the Pascal's triangle, let us have a glance on binomial theorem. Here it is A plus B and it is a binomial. You would have learned how to find the squares and cubes of such binomials. Now, a plus b whole to the power 0 equal to 1. a plus b whole to the power 1 equal to a plus b. a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And a plus b whole cube equal to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube. All these are the identities you have learned before. Look at these expansions. If we observe, we can see there is a relationship between the indices and the number of terms in the expansions. These numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 are the indices. For the index 0, there is only one term here. For the index 1, there are two terms that is A and B. For the index 2, three terms are here. For the index 3, four terms are here. So we can see the number of terms in the expansions is 1 more than the index. Now let me write these expansions again as a b to the power 0 plus a to the power 0 b to the power 1. This is equal to a square b to the power 0 plus 2 a b plus a to the power 0 b to the power this is equal to a cube b to the power 0 plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus a to the power 0 b cube. Here in all these expansions, what about the powers of a and b? In this expansion, in the first term, the power of a is 3. In the second term, it is 2 and here it is 1, here 0. Whereas, the power of b in the first term is 0, here 1, here 2, here 3. You can see the same in the other expansions also. That is, in the successive terms, the powers of a go on decreasing by 1, whereas the powers of b increase by 1. Now, let me add the indices of a and b in each term. Here, the index of a is 3 and that of b is 0. So, if we add 3 plus 0 equal to 3. Here it is 2 and 1. So, 2 plus 1 equal to 3. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. 0 plus 3 equal to 3. So, in each term, the sum of the indices are the same. That is 3. And that is the same here. It is the index of a plus b. Here, the sum of the indices are 2 and it is equal to the index of a plus b. Here also, the sum of the indices are 1 and all are same here and it, it is equal to the index of a plus b. So, in each term of the expansion, the sum of the indices of a and b is the same and is equal to the index of a plus b. Here we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a plus b into a plus b 
a plus b whole cube equal to a plus b into a plus b into a plus b and a plus b whole to the power 4 is equal to a plus b into a plus b into a plus b into a plus b. Here we are doing repeated multiplication. But for the higher powers, calculations become difficult by using repeated multiplication. This difficulty was overcome by a theorem known as binomial theorem. It gives an easier way to expand the binomials with higher powers. Here we will write the binomial expansion for 8 plus b whole to the power n. This is equal to n c 0 into a to the power n plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b plus n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 b square plus etc plus n c n b to the power n where n is an integer or a rational number. Also you can see here the powers of a go on decreasing by 1 and the powers of b go on increasing by 1 in the successive terms. And nc0, nc1, nc2, etc., ncn are the binomial coefficients and using this formula that is ncr equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial we can find the values. Now let me write the coefficients of the terms of these expansions. Here there is only one term and its coefficient is 1. Here there are two terms a and b and coefficient of a is 1 and that of b is also 1. Here the coefficients are 1, 2 and 1. And here 1, 3, 3, 1. Here we are getting four rows. One, two, three, four. Let me arrange these coefficients in another way. For that, let first let me write the index. Here, zero, one, two, and three. Zero, one, two and 3. Here the, in the first row for the index 0 coefficient is 1. So here coefficients that is 1 here and for index 1 there are two coefficients 1 1. So here you write to the left and right of this one. For index 2, there are 3 coefficients, 1 here and 2 here, again 1 here. And for 3, 4 coefficients are there. You write 1 here and 3 here, again 3, again 1. Here we can see a pattern that helps us to write the next rows from the previous rows. Here to this number if you add the number to, to the left of this you will get this number and if you add the number to the right of this you will get this number. Here there are no numbers on either side of this one. We are getting here one only. Here you take this number and left to do this there is no number you are getting one only here. To the right of this there is a number that is one you add one plus one that is two here. And take this number to, to the left of this there is one, one plus one two already we have written. To the right of this no number we are getting one only. In the same way this can be continued till any index of our interest. Also, 1 is present at the beginning and at the end of each row.
This structure looks like a triangle with one at the top vertex and running down the two slanting sides. This array of numbers is known as Pascal's triangle. And these coefficients are nothing but the binomial coefficients nc0, nc1, etc. Here, since the index is n, the coefficients are nc0, nc1, nc2, etc., ncn. Here, the index is 0 and only one term is here. So, this is 0, C, 0. Here the index is 1 and there are two coefficients that is 1, C, 0 and it is 1, C, 1. Here it is index is 2, 2, C, 0, 2, C, 1 and 2C2. Here it is 3C0, 3C1, 3C2 and 3C3. Now, how to get the binomial expansion of A plus B whole square using Pascal's triangle? Here, since the index is n, first coefficient is nc0. So here this is equal to here index is 2 so it is 2c0 and here it is a raised to n so here it is 8 square plus 2c1 a to the power 2 minus 1 b plus 2c2 a to the power 2 minus 2 b square. Here, what is 2C0? Here, the index is 2. So, these are the coefficients here. Here, index is 2. So, these are the coefficients. So, 2C0 is 1 here. So, here, this is 1 into A square plus 2C1 is 2. That is 2. A to the power 2 minus 1 is A and B plus 2c2 is 1, so 1 into a to the power 2 minus 2 is a to, the, a to the power 0, that is 1, that is b square. That is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. If you are asked to find the binomial expansion of a plus b whole to the power 4, how will you know which row you need to get? Listen. If the index is 0, the coefficient is in the first row. If the index is 1, coefficients are in the second row. And for the index 2, it is third row. And for the index 3, it is fourth. Here the index is 4. So you have to add 1 to this that is equal to 5. So, you have to go till fifth row. If the index is 10, you have to go till eleventh row. Here we are going to find the binomial expansion of A plus B whole cube by constructing a Pascal's triangle. Since the index is 3, 3 plus 1 equal to 4, the coefficients will be in the fourth row. So, in the Pascal's triangle, we need to get fourth row. First, you fold the paper vertically to get two halves or you can draw a line also. Here I am going to draw a line. Now, you can see a line here. Above this, write the heading. It is better to write the coefficients here. So it will be easy for you to mark the points. You know in the first row 
it is 1 and in the second row 1 1 third row is 1 2 1 and fourth row 1 3 3 1 here there are four rows so I am going to mark four points on the line leaving a distance of 3 cm between the points here I have marked the point for the first row leaving a distance of 3 cm that is 1 2 3 this is the point for the second row 1 2 3 this is for third row 1 2 3 this is for fourth row here I have drawn a middle line here also I am leaving a distance of 3 cm between the numbers so from the middle line to this number it will be one and a half centimeter in the first row there is only one number so here only one point in the second row there are two numbers so keep the scale like this this is the center line there is no point in the center from here to here it is one and a half centimeter so mark here and here to here also one and a half so total will be three centimeter in the third row there are three numbers and two is on the middle line so go to the third row this is the point for two from here after three centimeter mark a point here here also mark in the fourth row there are four numbers and no number is on the middle line the numbers are to the left and right of the middle line so from here after one and a half centimeter mark a point here and here also so that the distance between the numbers will be 3 cm and from here after 3 cm mark a point here here also mark a point here now we have marked all the points let me darken the points this is not needed For the third row, we need three points. This is not needed. Now let me erase the points which are not needed and the line also. Now keep the scale like this and draw from the top point to this point. Again here also Now keep the scale like this and draw from here to here. Here also. Now we have drawn all the lines and now write the numbers. The first row, in the first row it is 1, write 1 here, in the second row 1, 1, third row 1, 1 plus 1, 2, again 1, 
here also 1, 1 plus 2, 3 here, 2 plus 1, 3 here, 1. These are the coefficients we need. Now let us write the expansion. First we will write the coefficients. That is equal to, since index is 3 here, first is 3c0, then 3c1, 3c2 and 3c3. Now what about the powers of a? It go on decreasing by 1. So here it is a cube, a square, a to the power 1, a to the power 0 and powers of b increases by 1. So here it will be b to the power 0, b to the power 1, b square and b cube. In between write plus sign. That is equal to what is 3c0 here? It is 1. So 1 into a cube into b to the power 0 that is also 1. So we are getting a cube here plus 3c1 is 3. That is 3 a square b plus 3c2 that is also 3. So 3 a b square plus 3c3 is 1. So b cube that is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. This is the expansion. Here we are going to find the binomial expansion of a plus b whole to the power 6. We will find the binomial coefficients using Pascal's triangle. Since the index is 6, the binomial coefficients will be in the 7th row. So, in the Pascal's triangle, we need to go till 7th row. Here, we are doing it in a chart. Also, I have written all the coefficients up to 7th row. Since there are 7 rows, we have to mark 7 points in the middle line. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here the distance from this first point to the second is 3 cm. From here to here again 3 cm. Like that. And the distance from here to here will be 3 cm. So from here to here it will be 1 and a half. From here to here it is 3 cm. Here I have taken a chart and wrote the heading. Also I have drawn a line here. You can fold the paper or you can draw the line like this. If you are drawing the line, don't darken the line because you have to erase it later. Now I am going to mark all the 7 points on the middle line. Here I have marked all the 7 points leaving a distance of 3 cm between them. In the first row we need only 1 point. In the second row we need 2 points that is 1 to the right and 1 to the left of the middle line. Here I have marked 2 points. The distance from the center to this point is 1.5 cm. In the third row, we need 3 points. The distance between these points are 3 cm. Now I am going to mark all the points as we did before. Here I have marked all the points. Now keep the scale like this and draw lines. Now I have drawn the lines. Next, draw the lines in this direction also. 
here I have drawn all the lines. Now I am going to erase the middle line on these three points. Here I have taken some paper strips of width 3 mm. I am going to paste them on these lines. Here I have pasted 6 paper strips on 6 lines. The remaining part of these strips you can use to the other lines. You can paste this strip to this line and this to this side and this to this side like that. With the remaining parts of the strips I have pasted like this. Now I need one more paper strip to paste here. Now I have pasted all the paper strips. Next we will write the coefficients. For writing the numbers I have made some circular shapes here. Here I have pasted all the circles. Now we will write the numbers on these circles. Here I have written all the numbers. Next, we will write the binomial expansion. For the expansion of a plus b whole to the power 6, the binomial coefficients are in the 7th row. This is the expansion of a plus b whole to the power 6. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.